This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2007 Ford F550 regular cab. That's a 14, exactly 14 foot long bed, seven feet, 10 inches wide, uh, flatbed trailer. Um, it uh, is a 6 turbo diesel. It's two wheel drive, it's an XL. It's a six speed manual and it gets better. It has 6,815 miles, 6,815 miles. It's got like 200 and something miles on the, on the motor, uh, hours on the motor. Um, this was a, a trade-in, a new car dealer trade-in to Ken Grody Ford in Buena Park. They sold it mechanically green light, which means um, if it's not, uh, if there's any real mechanical issues with it, they have to pay for the shipping and everything and bring it back and give us our money back. Um, it's a Ford dealer doing that. They almost never do that um, just because they don't have to, to get the money. Uh, and they did anyway. So that tells you a lot about this truck. Um, it's a gorgeous truck. Uh, I believe that Ken Grody put that bet on it because on the uh, auto check, it shows like, I think it's uh, May 23rd, structural alterations. So it was probably a cabin chassis traded in. They probably had that sitting around the shop. Um, it probably would have been better if they didn't put it on because it was really ugly before we cleaned it up. Um, didn't match the truck at all, the, the bed before we got a hold of it. Anyway, um, I'm going to walk around. I'll show you what's going on. We'll go on a ride in a minute. Obviously, because it's a six speed manual, I'm going to need some help driving. My brother's waiting for the horn to honk and then he'll come out. But uh, I mean, it is exactly what you would expect in a 6,000 mile anything, whether it's a 2023 or a 2007. 6,000 miles is 6,000 miles. All right. Um, how does that happen? Well, a lot of times big companies buy hundreds of these at once and somehow one of them just ends up sitting there and being the vehicle that they <laughs> drive to, to lunch or something, you know? Uh, this is obviously one of them. The paint is fantastic. The interior is fantastic. It looks great. Drives great. Air is ice cold. Um, needed nothing mechanically. Um, in the photos, one of the things we did, at, we took it to Tucson Trailer here in town. They put diamond plate. This was an ugly wood bed and it had a hole knocked out where a crane was in it and the crane rested in a cradle up here. Um, but they obviously took it off a long time ago. Um, and like I said, I don't think that this bed was on this truck when they traded it in. Um, I think that Ken Grody had it. So anyway, we took that off, diamond plated the deck, painted the whole thing, put new LED lights all the way around. These boxes, we debated taking them off because they're so ugly. <laughs> and this is how they operate. You open them like this. My brother will take uh, uh, pictures of it and you'll be able to see what they look like inside the boxes. They're just black, they're what you would expect inside there. Uh, we were debating on taking the big ones off and leaving these. We just left them all. You guys can deal with those. Um, anyway, this step is new. This light's new. All the light was screwed up because they really didn't care about what was going on in the flatbed when they put it on. Um, but we cleaned it up and now it's DOT uh, ready and the whole bit. So it's actually a really nice truck now. With the bed, at least. It was a nice truck before they put the bed on it. Now it's a nice truck with the bed on it. So anyway, um, la, la, la. So let me see, uh, trailer, uh, Tucson trailer, decking, paint, LED lights, DOT lights, that's it. Those are my notes. Not many notes on this guy because it's not necessary. I do know one thing, I'm gonna get the AC going here. All right, and we have a clutch. See that, that's a clutch. For those of you who don't know, low plug off. All right, there's your transmission there. Low, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. That would be a six speed manual, okay? And there's your engine hours. 226.7 are the engine hours. 6,831 are the miles on it now. This is after it uh, went to detail and it went to Tucson Trailer, which is not very far away. Here's your trailer things, blah, 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 radio. That's that. Let me see, we put an emergency brake on. 
one of the hood. As you can see, I mean, even the seat bolsters are in great shape, which never happens on a Ford truck, unless they have no miles on them. And all the wear that you normally see on the uh, buttons, you know how the black is off, you see a bunch of white around all the buttons and stuff? That ain't there. By the way, that's a brake light because I have the emergency brake on. If I pull it off, it goes away, right? Set that, boom. Crazy truck, really crazy. Can't believe we own this thing, it's awesome. Anyway, here we are. Um, Ford stamp here, see how you have an original fender? Um, obviously everything's original here. Just been sitting for a while, barely moving. There's your uh, Ford stamp there, Ford stamp there, everything's original up here. Like I said, it was green light from uh, Ken Grody Ford, so that is a good thing. Obviously no blow-by. Again, the Ford dealer guaranteed it, so they would uh, not sell it that way. In fact, they never do this. It's crazy that they did it. They love this truck or they wouldn't have. Um, all right, here's the green light document. Um, Ken Grody is the seller to Crosscut. Uh, buyer protections, um, green light. Uh, that's green light. That means mechanically sound. Yellow light is because they altered this, uh, the uh, the frame by adding a bed to it. Okay, structural alterations for utility. There's your bin. That's all. All this stuff you're, I'm showing you will be scanned into the uh, ad. You'll be able to see it. This is the invoice from uh, from uh, Tucson Trailer on what we did. Everything. $2,598.80, which I thought was excessive. There's a trailer, that's the work order, the whole bit. I thought that was excessive, but I wanted it done right, and I didn't want to bitch, so I think it could have been done well under two grand, but whatever. Anyway, here's the vehicle history report for the vehicle. There's the VIN, no title brands, structural alteration is in the notes. It's not really a brand. Um, no accidents reported. There's no accidents, no odometer issues. Ba, ba, ba. Anaheim, ba, 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 ba. that's it. See where it says here, auto announced as structural alteration. That's that bed. And you can see the bolts on the bed are like brand new. So that's what happened. They thought it would be worth more money with a bed on it and they had it laying around in their yard. We almost took it off and sold the cabin chassis only, but I was convinced by other people not to do that. Anyway. Here is the uh, back of the title, 6,812 miles. That's actual. The crosscut is the name of the uh, buyer, that's us. Ken Grody Ford, that happened 5, 10, and 23. The hardest part was getting somebody to ship it. You know, getting these things shipped is kind of hard sometimes. So, you gotta, gotta anticipate that. If we're gonna ship, help you ship, or you're gonna ship it for yourself, you gotta make sure you tell people the length of this thing and uh what what they're shipping exactly so all right i'm gonna give my brother the old horn and uh see if he can come out here and be my baby driver there we go There's a professional test driver here. I hear you're in need of a stunt driver. <laughs> yeah, he turned the hurricane down. It's a little too much for you to handle. <laughs> it really is. It, it really is. Handling the camera and a stick. A little much. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hear you. Oh, I've handled a camera and a stick before, but it's a different kind of movie. Huh. Huh. That's anyway. what they say. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. It's true. I have to say. It's true. It's like a car test drive with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you know how to drive a manual? It's been a while. It's been a while. That's exactly. All right. I did just watch Fast and Furious. Though. Oh, oh, you did. So now you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Because I remember that stunt truck, that F550 flatbed. So here's the reverse. That's reverse. Boom. All right. Now you're. What are we going to start in first? 
no. So that's no see, that's reverse. Yeah, you got to know how to drive one of these. Huh? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Now we're in. Hopefully, we get a uh, person with some higher testosterone levels for this one. I mean, uh, <laughs> that would, would be helpful. <laughs> All right. If you come to Tucson to drive this home, uh, you're probably going to need a new spine if you're going to drive 500 miles with an F550 flatbed with nothing behind you because they have really stiff suspension. Fortunately, they just paved our road uh, very improperly. It will be gone by monsoon season. But right now, we don't get a spinalectomy in this truck because the road is nice but if you are gonna ship it uh, you're gonna just pay the agreed upon price and that's it um, once we receive full payment by uh, by a wire we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address we will scan it in your online file um, uh, the title in your online file and uh, we will mail it to you we can scan in the envelope we mail it in if you're gonna pay uh, in person and you're gonna drive it home you're gonna pay your state tax rate plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Very simple. Um, if you are gonna pay by wire and ship, if you need help with shipping, um, please let us know early so we can get on it. Um, if, uh, if you wanna do it yourself, that's fine. But uh, please make sure that you tell the shipper it's a regular cab F550 with a 14 foot bed, uh, seven, what is it? seven feet, 10 inches wide is the bed. Um, and obviously it's dual rear wheels. Um, because if they show up in our yard and it's anything but that, they freak out and they want more money and they start bitching and it drives me crazy. And uh, that's that. Uh, but if you want us to do it, we can roll the price of the uh, shipping into the price of the truck. So you make one payment and I'll handle it. Um, and I think that's about it on that. Uh, deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get that in last part of every video I say the same thing every single time we don't have salesmen so you're not uh, paying a commission when you buy a vehicle from us our uncle rents us our property for a dollar a year and he has for 15 years he's wealthy he writes off the loss he doesn't care as long as we write him a check for a dollar so we do um, so we don't have a huge overhead in our location we don't have salesmen to deal with and pay um, we don't have someone serving scones and lattes and you know, whatever. We don't have a game room. They have that at the auto mall. If you want to go pay extra, you can go get that stuff there. We don't have that. What we have is the auto check, the invoices, the proof of everything we do, the title, everything that really matters, you get to see. If there's something bad, we will tell you, all right? Because the internet's a big world and somebody will be fine with whatever's wrong as long as they know what's wrong. Um, in this case, with 6,800 miles, it's uh, very difficult to find something wrong, but I'll still say this. Because we're not the auto mall, we're not slamming you for every penny we could possibly slam you for. We're leaving a lot on the bone, which means you are saving plenty of money to fix your truck if it were to break. Is this truck gonna break? Highly unlikely, probably impossible anytime in the next five or six years if you change the oil and the fluids and keep it out of a lake that's the hands-free steering right there um what are we doing 65 it's not actually not a bad burp drive for 65 in this thing it should be and this is a this is concrete so we should be getting a spinalectomy and it's not really that bad um anyway bottom line is we're selling to you at a great price please do not bitch at us if something breaks now, it doesn't have any power windows or locks or anything really to break. So, honestly, I would say that you're good to go forever. Just keep it out of a lake. Don't hit a fuel truck like that. Um, change the fluids once in a while, and you'll probably be good to go for a long, long time. All right, but I have to say that. That's part of our deal. Anyway, I'm also told that... What's that? That was 70. That was 70? Yeah. Had a nice ride for 70. Um, anyway, uh, our videos can be 17 minutes and 38 seconds because that's what the card and the GoPro I'm using tells us. So at 17 minutes and 38 seconds, we disappear. Uh, we didn't wreck or crash or anything. We're still okay. I know you're worried about that. Um, you, know, you don't want to see me go, you know, but uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay. 17 minutes and 38 seconds, it just disappears. So... What are we at? We're at uh, 14 something. 
We're getting off here back off I-10. This is Ruth Roth. Uh, Dennis is still trying to remember how to drive a manual. Right Change here. First gear. That's first. Okay, good. So second, I'm not very good. That was pretty good. Same. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. He's one of those guys who are one of those Gran Turismo games at home with the pedals. You know that, right? Yeah. Practices shifting at home. Double clutch. Yeah, that, that too. Anyway, whatever that means. Anyway, the air is ice cold. We've only got it on two. I can tell you it's starting to heat up around the old Pueblo here. So it's got the low gear, but uh, we're running it from first on as uh, granny gear low is uh, maybe a max speed of one. If we have enough time, we'll put it in low over here. We are currently at, uh, what is it, 16 minutes and 12 seconds. It's gonna be a tight one. It's gonna be really, I have to say, it's gonna be super tight. It's gonna be kind of like that Cuban cafe for lunch yesterday. I have to say, everything's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Don't worry. It's going to be good. We got a BMW on a tow truck. Go figure. Isn't that where they all are at some point today? That one looks very new. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's a BMW, so it can be new because that's very possible. See, new cars break. There you yeah, go. Yeah, isn't that the truth? Yeah, they do. Well, of course, I don't think we've ever made it through that light without stopping. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. All right, you're not gonna get to enjoy the low gear because we're at 17 minutes and 12 seconds, but trust me, it happens, all right? And uh, this is a hell of a truck, really nice. I did find a blemish. I need to get some uh, glue and get that headliner up, yeah, which happens too. to all of them. There's a little bit right there too, but all you really need is a glue stick and then it goes right back up. Anyway, all right, 17 minutes and 30 seconds. Hasta la vista.